what does the individual bridge do that it's common one piece bridge where everything is common together and yeah what is the difference and how does it make the guitar or bass a better sounding instrument well it was strange but that was the first thing i ever put on my touch tapping type instrument because i had to separate the strings i also had to stop the crosstalk that was happening between strings on especially the bass notes so what i did was i and i'll bring the bass i'll show you the bridge itself right now just to show you something the individual bridge that you're seeing here on a prototype guitar I built. Now, I built this guitar when I was actually building Ibanez guitars because I wanted to uh, not copy, but just have that same neck and a few things that I wanted to test out. But you see the individual bridge, if you're looking from there, I'll make it real quick here because we want to just show this. There's, they separate completely from each other and they go clear through the body. And this makes a big difference because when you put them all the way through, you get the real contact with the wood and you also have more area to disperse to that crosstalk and get that string to be an individual item. Now these bridges will lose about 60%, sometimes more of all the crosstalk, maybe even up to 70, 80% if you're not playing like a wild man, like many of us do. They have the fine tuners, they have, they have the coarse tuners, the fine tuners. And if you notice on this end, they actually have the regular tuners. So you have three ways to tune this bass. And that's, and, and that's what the individual bridges let you do because it lets you have a, a, this system, the other system. We build all of our necks too, just as a little extra thing. We build them with five laminates so that they're strong. We have the tension-free area so that the neck does not push on this fingerboard and cut down on sustain because when you compress wood, it doesn't sustain like it does and hold the tone or the vibration like it would if it was compressed. So we put a tension-free neck, which is adjustable and takes all that off. Enough of that. The individual bridges have always proven to me over the years to be the only way I can play the, a, a double neck guitar or a touch guitar or, or just the bridges themselves. Are, I sell those to customers because they say to me, God, I get this. my bridge just doesn't produce a clean sound. And the minute they put this on their guitars, the end of bridges, bridges, they write back to me and say, wow. In fact, we have comments on bunker guitars. We have a, a, a page. And many of those comments are on the clarity of what those bridges actually do for our guitars. So to answer your question about the fact of whether they uh, – you know how they improve a guitar sound they improve it because they make the string quicker to react they cut some of the sound that comes from one string reacting to the other string and so basically overall they just give you more tone and sustain and a better sound on your guitar